Mark Zuckerberg was shopping at Costco. I saw that story and the way the story was written was that Mark Zuckerberg was shopping at Costco and his frugal ways is the reason that he's rich. And then I saw Warren Buffett, who actually owns a plane, still lives in the same house that he bought years ago. And this whole myth, this whole process, this whole narrative, for you to be rich, you must be frugal. And by being frugal, this opens up the door for you to get rich. I keep seeing this narrative. I keep seeing this narrative. Forget that Mark Zuckerberg owns Facebook. That has nothing to do with him having money. There's no, it, 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 it's his frugal ways. One of the things I consistently see online is the bastardization of the truth. I consistently see things that don't make sense, that are purposely populated to make you think that if you just become frugal, you'll be rich. It ain't true. It ain't true. So today's video is the myth of the frugal millionaire and the myth of the frugal billionaire. Let me tell you something. What I want you to do is go to Zillow or go to Google and put in zip code 30327 and Google the average home price in that zip code. That is my old neighborhood. That's where I used to live. I ran into Dr. J. I cannot think of this quarterback. God, what was the chorus? Bojo and his wife lived there. The old Radcliffe. I was consistently running into rich Waka Flocka, consistently running into rich, well-to-do people in this neighborhood. And I'm gonna tell you something. I did not see a lot of frugal millionaires living in a one to five million dollar house. Didn't see that. And what I saw, and this was funny, because when I was living there, uh, my girlfriend lived with me and my girlfriend had a job and the women in the neighborhood thought that was the cutest thing. They thought that was cute because most of them didn't work because they husband made enough money where they didn't have to work. And consistently, I would just see, like, let me tell you the story of why I have a drop top convertible. In my neighborhood, as soon as spring hit, I would see all of these convertibles, all of these convertibles just like left and right, left and right. And they would only bring these cars out when it was spring. What I want you to do is to sit back and to think, what would your life look like if you were living exactly how you wanted to live? I want you to think if you were living in the house that you wanted to live in, you were driving the car that you wanted to live in, you were married or in a relationship with the person that you wanted to be in, in a relationship with. I'm here to tell you that's all powerful. That's all possible. The power of persistence, a bold guide to achieving your goals will help you get there. But that's not all I have for you. What I want you to do is to go ahead and get yourself involved in the Corporate Citizen Playbook training. I have a goal to create 50,000 corporate citizens. What is a corporate citizen? A person who has an income of $250,000. That in the United States of America makes you rich. That's the beginning. And this is what this whole curriculum is designed to help you get there. First of all, teach you everything that you need to know about setting up a corporate rations, setting up the structure, the LLC, the holding companies, the operating companies, teach you how to get six figure business lines of credit, teach you how to set up a company, teach you how to set up an operating company, teach you all of these things that you currently don't know. So here is where this even gets better. First of all, right now I am building out the Corporate Citizen Playbook training. That's gonna take me some time because it's gonna be a pretty large course. During that phase when I'm building it out, you can get in at an extreme discount and whether you go ahead and do the one and done or do the payment plan, you lock yourself in to get all of the training that is coming. Next month, we're gonna be talking about 
how to make money, how to make a lot of money with a small YouTube channel. That's going to be probably July. And if you go ahead and lock in today, where you would go below, watch the video, you would get into the description, or it will be in the comments section where you can go ahead and do a one and done or do the payment plan and use the promo code JUMP, J-U-M-P, to get this extreme discount that's gonna lock you in to all of the training that's about to go down in 2023. So once again, go below the video, it'll be in the description, or it'll be in the comment section where you can go ahead and get in on this new training. And it, it was just such an amazing thing to live in that neighborhood to be surrounded by wealth to see how wealth actually works to see what people with money do a lot of these folks in these neighborhoods they pay cash for their house and this whole myth this whole arc of if you want to be rich just be frugal and there there's a a movement so to speak here on YouTube is called the minimalism movement. We're not going to buy anything. We're not going to have anything. We're going to live a minimalism life, which for some people could be a good thing. But the whole arc of minimalism isn't because I want a simple, well-rounded life. It's like I could save a lot of money. And you see people who get into this minimalism trap. And they start a YouTube channel, right? the youtube channel takes off right next thing you know they're doing the video i'm not trying to be a minimalist no more because <laughs> that youtube money man that youtube money that youtube money changed graham stephan was a minimalist until he got that youtube money now he lives in a multi-million dollar house in las vegas see this is the fake narrative and i'm going to explain to you why it doesn't work Let's say you made $40,000, no, let's say you made $50,000 a year. You made $50,000 a year. And you did not spend your money crazy. You were really good with your money. And let's say you spent your money appropriately and you had a car that was paid for, you had no credit card debt, you did not have any children because you were not married, and you saved as much money as you could. You just saved and saved. And you bought a car cash. And on this $50,000 a year, you managed to save 1200 bucks a month, which is $14,000 a year, which is a third of your income, which is exceptional, right? And then you deposited it that $14,000 per year into the stock market. So in 10 years, you have deposited $140,000 in the stock market, right? And then in 20 years, you have deposited $280,000 in the stock market. And in 30 years, you have deposited $320,000 in the stock market. You still ain't rich. You have a pretty large brokerage portfolio, but you're still not even rich. See, here's the thing. To get rich, to be wealthy, you have to produce an income that is greater than what you need to live on. And Zuckerberg has a company that is worth billions, which gives him a net worth of billions and regardless, you know, and it was like someone had put it in the comments that Zuckerberg wears these t-shirts that are like 300 bucks per t-shirt. And I could believe that. I could believe that. Because once again, go to zip code 30327, one of the wealthiest zip codes in the South. There's like two or three zip codes wealthier in Florida. And look up the average home price. And if the average home price is I could tell you it's 1.3 million. You're gonna need seven to eight thousand dollars per month to have a mortgage, to have a mortgage on a house of that value. So let's just go ahead and say you do it at seven. That's almost 100K a year just for your mortgage. And living in that zip code and seeing people, and another thing that I saw in that zip code, 
I saw a lot of what I call fat, fancy, old people. Now, what is a fat, 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 fancy, old people? I remember one day I was coming out to drive. I was actually on Hammond Drive and this drop top Mercedes, super shiny, super sexy car. There is this older woman. She is clearly an older woman but she looked so good. She was driving, she had on her sunglasses, she had on her hat, she had on this uh, cheetah print top. And this was an older woman, you could tell, but she looked good. And I pulled next to her and I said, you look good. And she said, thank you, baby. And she drove off in her shiny drop top Mercedes. I consistently saw older people who were fly and fancy consistently which tells me that they had money for a long time because here's the thing you don't believe me carl icon 87 years old warren buffett 92 years old you think that these guys are that old and still looking good and fly and running companies is simply because they were frugal no See, the game of money is a different game. The game of money is a different platform. The game of money is a different level. And just as I said, if you were making $50,000 a year, you had a paid off car, you, you, you saved the majority of your money, that still wouldn't make you rich. It still wouldn't make you rich. And the term of getting rich and having wealth above and beyond what you need is I don't think a concept that average people understand because let's kind of get into it. I think the vast majority, not all of them, but the vast majority of offers you see in YouTube advertisement, like do this to get money. I don't think that they will work for most people because here's the thing, like let's take the chat GPT wave of, cause the chat GPT YouTube commercial, YouTube commercials, uh, YouTube videos have really, really slowed down. But when it came out, you saw a whole bunch of people talking about you could do this business with Jack GP, you could do this business. And they were talking about the topical subject of the business. And they were not talking about the day to day because the majority of these businesses needs a salesperson, right? So with a salesperson, this is a person who generates leads, finds leads, and calls these people to begin the process of starting this business. That was completely absent from the majority of these videos. And I don't care if you're selling web design, I don't care if you're selling t-shirts, I don't care if whatever business that you come up with ChatGPT, you're gonna need someone to reach out to customers. Now ChatGPT will make the back end of the business easier and more durable, but the front end of the business, that sales team, you still need that sales team. You still need that sales team. And that is one of the things that I see consistently missing, kind of like, well, all you gotta do is be frugal and you'll be rich. Just be frugal, baby. You'll be rich down the road. There's a group of people in America that I would call generationally poor. And these generationally poor people have cycle after family cycle where they don't have any money. And the reason that they don't have any money is they don't have anyone to speak out to these people that will actually do more, that will create, well, they, they, they're, they're poor because they don't have the concept of doing more, creating more, being more. It's completely absent from the family narrative. And one of the things that I'm going to see, well, one of the things I'm starting to see is we're going to have a smaller section of people who are going to be super wealthy. I'm talking super wealthy. I'm talking making crazy money. And this is going to be, once again, it's going to be a small segment. This is not going to be large by any stretch of the imagination. Just like being frugal, being cheap, saving your money. I'll tell you the story of one of my neighbors. One of my neighbors, he was an attorney and he owned a law firm. And his wife, one day we were just talking, he said, I gotta keep my wife out my credit cards, man. She's spending $50,000 a month. 
This woman was spending $600,000 a year just shopping. She didn't have a job. Her job was to shop. Right now, there are a number of people on YouTube who are advertising how to build business credit. If you go ahead and enroll in the Money Mindset Program, which teaches you how to manage your money for free, you will learn how to build business credit for free. Do you understand that you can go out, set up a new LLC, get an EIN, set up a business checking account, and go to a number of credit card issuers and banks and build yourself a hundred to a hundred and fifty thousand dollars worth of business credit within 90 days. I got it all in this course. I teach you how to do it step by step. So go ahead and get the Money Mindset Program today. The link is going to be in the video description and they will often be in the comments. So either way you can find it. And once again, this course is 100% free. It's fast, it's easy, it's quick to the point, and it's things that you need to do to go ahead and learn how to manage your money. I feel that money management is a critical component to success. And this is why I am giving you this course. There's no charge. I'm not charging you today. I'm not going to charge you tomorrow. There will be no fee. You can go ahead, enroll in this money management course, and start learning the tools that you need to be financially literate to get your personal credit, get your credit, cre your credit card credit, and all this other stuff straight where you can be a financially sufficient and on point person. Go ahead and enroll today. Once again, the enrollment is free. It's going to be in the video description or it'll be in one of the comments. And I keep seeing all this stuff. And fortunately for him, uh, he did a lot of wise stuff with his money because the house they lived in was paid off. House they lived in was paid off. Cars they drove were paid off. So even with her spending $50,000 a month shopping and buying stuff, they were good. They were good. And I have seen it over and over and over again, being cheap, being frugal, being very thrifty with your money, watching what you buy. And that is the language of poverty. I believe in abundance. I believe in a greater abundance that you set out for yourself, that you can open the door to many, many different things. You could create a wealth pattern. You could create so many different things for yourself as you build out your business, as you create your business, as you do certain things for your business. And one of the things that I consistently see is that people do not understand the pathology of generating wealth. To generate wealth, you gotta do something. You've gotta be something. You gotta create something. You've got to really open up the door to a higher level, to a higher ambition, and just being cheap. Because I, I, I like, I keep seeing this. It's, it's like people keep pushing it. Like, yeah, the reason he's a billionaire is because he's cheap. Forget about the oil fields over here. Forget about the diamond mine. Forget about uh, Bernard Ott, the uh, owner of Louis Vuitton and many other fashion. Forget about all that. He's got money because he's cheap. This kind of reminds me of a sad, sad story. Years and years ago, I used to live in the West End and a house burned down. And there was this article in the newspaper about the man who lived in the house. And they found some information. This man was dating a woman he made pay for dates, even though he had hundreds of thousands of dollars stuffed up in the attic of his house. That's pathologically cheap. I personally believe when you're that cheap that there's something mentally wrong with you. Personally, personally. That's my speech on the pathology, the mythology of the frugal billionaire and the frugal millionaire. So it's May and we're working on our courses, the pathology. We're working on the corporate citizen playbook. Last month we did the money course. 
this month we did the productivity course and now we're working on the corporate citizen playbook which will teach you how to set up a business from the pathology of the organizational skills of the business itself the business banking and more importantly and this is something that i haven't talked about i'm going to teach you how to start your business in the corporate citizen playbook whatever business that you start whatever business you want to start and i got a book that's coming out this year how to seduce customers because that's the key like you know the setup of the corporate playbook is important the the holding company setup is very important the llc stuff is very important the business stuff is really important the business credit stuff is very important and we teach you how to set up that how to organize that and how to create that as we move forward with the corporate citizen playbook as we begin to build out this training because there's so many things that you can do now this is the offer that i have for you everyone who goes in and gets the corporate citizen playbook at the low price point that's in there today because you got to use promo code jump j u m p jump use the promo code jump and this will get you even more savings on the corporate citizen playbook and you will get everything that i'm going to do from this moment on you get the money course which is free you should already have that you get the productivity course you get the corporate citizen playbook you get a lot of different things as we begin to move forward and build out this course and here's how i make moves and to get the course, it's going to be in the comments section and everything you need, or it's going to be in one of the, the description box. So the way that I'm moving now is I'm working on the corporate citizen playbook and I will not begin on the next training, which is how to make a lot of money with a small YouTube channel, which will probably start in July. It will not start before I finish the corporate citizen playbook. So we got a lot of stuff that's going on. We got a lot of things that we're working on. So you should be involving yourself. Go below. The link's going to be in the comment section or it's going to be in the description box. Go ahead, get access to that so you can set yourself up to become a corporate citizen. My name is Glendon Cameron. I will see you guys in the next video.